Got another smallmouth on this one is much better. Still is fighting like a five pound largemouth. Look at that fish. Look at that, baby. Oh yeah. Oh, that is sick. Smallmouth oh. on the drop shot, man. That is awesome. Seven foot three rods. Pulled right out of that thick grass. Got that little gamagatsu right on the roof of the mountain, too. Right where it needs to be. Wow. That's a blast. That's probably about, a, I don't know, 15, 16 inches, give or take. I think fought so much. I thought I had a hog on. A lot of fun. We'll get back to you guys with some fish more smallies. Wow. That's a good one. Two nice smallmouth fishing these clear water lakes, man. One on a tube, one on a crankbait. Get back with you guys and catch some more. There's one. Just one of my cordon. One of my cordon. That's a little crankbait, folks. This little guy, he hit it as soon as he hit the water. He must have been sitting right on top of him. These weed ledges get, are out there so far. skitter prop or a skitter prop this thing slammed it missed it once came back and hit it twice in shallow water first cast with <laughs> this bait in a different spot I've been working this bait all day but first cat in this first cast this new little cove over here it's really shallow a little bit more calmer too uh, look at that it's a good 
fish right there, man. Oh my god. Arm's getting tired just holding this fish. That bass. That is an awesome fish right there. Oh yeah. Gotta get a quick picture and put it back in the water. Stay tuned, more smallmouth next to come. Hey guys, welcome back. Look this nice smallmouth right here. Probably about, I don't know, 17, 16 and a half inches. Uh, I was reeling it in, and this thing took me right in the grass. And I brought it up on shore, and it spit the same thing. Fitz just got this nice small mouth right here on a tube with a uh, spot remover shaky head. Tubes and, and jigs right now are working really well. We ran out of tube jigs, so we've been having to, to use that. We'll wash on the water real quick, get that grime off her. Just hold tight. And then give her a look. That's, I'd have to say it's one of the biggest ones of the day, right? That's a nice small mouth. Look at that. Nice fish. Going for the release? Back. Just stuck this little chunker right here on the uh, little red Bill Lewis uh, lipless crankbait. They like the red that they have to throw in all sorts of crankbaits, all sorts of dirt baits, white, uh, chartreuse. The red is the only color I've been able to get on it. Yeah. Top. You guys welcome back. We've got another one on the lipless crankbait. They're hitting their slamming. Got this nice bass on a Spro Junior Bronzeye Junior because they're uh, using the smaller ones because these smallmouth have a little bit smaller mouths. Nice fish. She came up and slammed that bait too. Yeah. Hey guys, welcome back. Second frog fish of the day. It's a smallmouth. I did a lot of frogging yesterday. Those are all largemouth, but these smallmouth they hammer it. They just absolutely hammer it. You gotta use these juniors if you wanna go after these, these smallmouth fish a lot because that frog is hardly big enough for that fish. And I guarantee you that that fish is just gonna pop out just barely. Hey guys, welcome back. Just got this decent smallmouth, but uh, smallmouth isn't what's so interesting. I was fishing a crankbait, but well, earlier on I was fishing this jig right here. And I got a hook set, boom hook set, bad line, snapped the line, and uh, I figured, man, that was a good fit. So recently, I just tied on a crankbait. 